All right. So what to do? It's starting to get freezing outside. I have a real basic timer, but it doesn't matter what you have. Manual on. Turn on your sprinklers. Should start seeing the spray. So like, see how my I got like fancy ones. So your sprinklers are running. See them all operating in the first zone. Go back in your home. Wherever your water shutoffs are, usually it's in the basement, the utility room. I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of my house, I guess. Yep, we got a lot of kids. Go down to your utility room. There we go, got the light on. I got ball valves. So this is how I turn off the water to my sprinklers. Did you hear that noise? There, see it, she's turned off. That's all you gotta do. So the water's turned off. You go back outside. And to make this video a little easier for everybody, I'm gonna actually just go over to my neighbor's house and show you his system. I know it's kind of stupid with all the walking, but I don't have any way to actually edit this. And on your house, you should have a backflow preventer, which is a big brass. Sometimes it's black plastic. You may need a wrench. I've got like this crescent wrench. Okay. Now he's got a faucet already installed. And all you gotta do see this big brass thing here is the back flow preventer. Right there. Now you, right here you'll either have a plug or a faucet. He put a plug on his, the faucet. Now you just let the water out and leave it open. If you got a plug, you just remove it. I'll show you my other neighbor. His plug. And I don't know if they actually have the water off, so I have to be kind of careful. But I'm going to blow them out today, so it doesn't matter. So, oh, I got the wrong wrench. You need a pliers for this one. But anyway, on Jeff's house, on this house right here, if the water's off, which we can find out. Yep, I need a bigger wrench. <laughs> but anyway, this has got a plastic plug in it, and you remove it. And the water's gonna run out and you just leave your system run and just let it don't touch your timer and just let it run through all the zones what that's gonna do is pull the water down so it's gonna pull your water down so you don't have the uh, it won't freeze and crack the copper pipes above ground you still got to have your system blowing out Otherwise, all the stuff in the ground will freeze and break, but it gives you several weeks before the frost sets in. Anyway, good luck.